Despite all the angst over the national debt, don't for one minute feel the least bit guilty about taking advantage of every tax break you can. In fact, now's the perfect time to start teaching your children about tax shelters. As soon as a child has earnings from a job, from babysitting, say, or working behind the counter at a fast food place, he or she should have an individual retirement account. And although your son or daughter must have a job to have an IRA, there's no rule that his or her own money has to go into the account. That's where a mom and dad or the grandparents come in. You can provide the cash or maybe match your child's contributions dollar for dollar. The IRA limit for 2013 is $5,500 for anyone under age 50. If that's too rich for your blood, how about a thousand bucks, the amount the child credit saves qualified parents? In any event, you can't contribute more to the IRA than the child earned during the year. Imagine this, a thousand dollars a year goes into an IRA from the time your daughter is 16 until the year she graduates from college at 22. Assuming no additional deposits, that original $7,000 will grow to $265,000 by the time your daughter is 65 assuming an 8% annual return. And if the account makes 10%, the IRA will hold $625,000. Even if inflation averages 3% a year, that will still have the same buying power of close to 150,000 of today's dollars. And if you use the Roth IRA, every dime will be tax-free. Now, some financial institutions will tell you that a minor can't have an IRA, but that's hooey. If they have earnings from a job, they can take advantage of this wonderful tax shelter.